Manchester to see ACDC so I thought it'd be the perfect time to do some ACDC themed makeup I'm gonna just call this look thunderstruck we've got a lightning bolt it's in the ACDC logo colors yeah hope you enjoy hey 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 so I'm starting off with a layer of foundation on and I've already done my eyebrows to start the eyes I'm using a white eyeliner pencil to map out the shape of the crease and the winged lightning bolt. I'm then going over that white pencil using a red eyeshadow. Using a white eyeshadow I'm highlighting underneath the brow bone. I'm then blending out the red eyeshadow in the crease using a fluffy brush. Don't worry about making a mess because we can conceal it all later on. I'm then adding the shimmery red from the Sourcebox Art Nouveau palette. Once I'm happy with how much eyeshadow I've applied, I'm then going in with some concealer on a flat brush and I'm just cutting the shape of the crease to make it look a lot neater. I'm doing this above where I blended the eyeshadow out as well. The main reason I'm doing this is because I kind of blended it up a little bit too high so I wanted to take a bit of that colour away. I'm then using a yellow face paint to fill in the crease and fill in the lightning shape as well. To even out the face paint and cover up any streaks, I'm then setting it with a yellow eyeshadow. I'm then using Kat Von D's Thunderstruck eyeshadow to highlight underneath the brow bone. I'm also blending this into the red. To add a little bit more depth to the crease, I'm using Kat Von D's Raw Power. To give this look a little bit of a sparkle, I'm adding Lit Cosmetics Lemon Tart Glitter all over the yellow areas. I'm then curling my natural eyelashes and applying some mascara. The eyelashes that I'm using today are the Girls With Attitude Mermaid Lashes. To hide the lash line, I'm applying Liquid Eyeliner. I'm applying a little bit of mascara and pinching my natural eyelashes and the false lashes together just so you can't see any of the natural eyelashes underneath. For now the eyes are done but I will be coming back to finish these off later. Because I've been touching my face as I've been doing my eye makeup, I'm re-blending out my foundation using my beauty blender. I'm then concealing underneath my eyes and blending that out with a mini beauty blender. To set the concealer, I'm using translucent powder to bake underneath my eyes. I'm using a fluffy brush to dust that away and blend the powder into my face. To contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm blending the bronzer from the Freedom Bronze and Bake palette into my contour. I'm then using a little bit of the highlighted blush from that same palette. I'm also using the highlighter from that palette as well. Because I want my highlighter to be popping, I'm then using the Kat Von D Thunderstruck Eyeshadow. Now I've finished with the skin, I'm coming back to finish the eyes. I'm using the same eyeshadow from earlier to outline the lightning bolt. I'm also using that eyeshadow to line my lower lid with and then I'm blending it out towards the corner of my eye. To make that red darker, I'm using Kat Von D's Raw Power Eyeshadow. Now that the eyes are finished, I'm moving on to the lips. I'm applying Jeffree Star's Rich Blood. When I've applied the lipstick, I'm then using a lip brush to neaten up the shape. Then lastly, to make the lip shape super neat, I'm using concealer on a flat brush. So 
So that's pretty much it for this Thunderstruck eye tutorial. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Na 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 na